All right, welcome back to the XJ project. So let's talk engine and drivetrain here. Um, seeing as I got things apart, we can take a look. This is just the basic four liter engine. It's a 1998, so that means it's the HO. The high output, yeah, really, high output? Uh, not quite, anyway. Must be an inside joke at the factory or something. Um, four liter high output, fuel injected. This thing's uh, basically the old 258. And uh, still doesn't get really great fuel economy, but what a great engine. This thing uh, having the long stroke uh, has tons of low end torque right down off of idle. It's absolutely perfect for, uh, for rock crawling and four by fouring. You, you couldn't ask for a better engine with this thing. I've been just so happy with the thing. As long as you don't expect it to perform like a Porsche out on the road, you're, uh, you're just fine. And you know what, if you're mad at you still got enough power, so I'm real happy with it. So, modifications. Not a whole lot. Right off the bat, early on when I got this thing, I threw in a throttle body spacer, tucked down below the throttle body, and uh, the cold air intake K&N filter here. Um, it was reported by anyone advertising it, of course, to give you lots of power gains. I maybe noticed something, maybe, I don't know. Uh, not a whole lot. The thing with a air intake here like this, with an open one, unless you have that uh, cold air set up that actually boxes this off so that you're only drawing fresh air in from outside, you're sucking in hot air from the engine compartment. Hot air is obviously less dense. Fuel computer reads that and adjusts the fuel to lean it out. So, um, um, not necessarily ideal. Any gains that you would be getting by a free breathing intake are uh, kind of negated by the fact that you're pulling in hot air. So, speaking of hot air, this is a little modification I've done here. This is an additional air intake temperature sensor. Factory one's down here, mounted in the uh, air intake manifold, I should say. And uh, I spliced in a little uh, weatherproof connector here to uh, tap this one in. And as you saw in my previous video, I got a little switch in the cab. I can toggle back and forth between the two. So why did I do this? Air intake manifold is kind of interlaced like fingers with the exhaust manifold. That exhaust manifold kicks off a lot of heat. XJ engine compartments are notoriously warm. This sucker heats up and a lot of that heat is transferred straight into the temperature sensor here. So that temperature sensor is uh, partially reading the temperature of the intake manifold itself, not necessarily the air going through there. So what does that mean? Your computer picks up uh, hot air, it thinks it's less dense than cold air, and leans out your fuel mixture. Fuel mixture is uh, kind of critical for long running engines. EPA likes, uh, likes real lean run engines so that, uh, so that uh, it has less emissions, right? Well, that doesn't necessarily mean your engine's gonna last. They don't care how long your engine lasts, they just need to make the numbers uh, coming out of the factory. So uh, having this in here, this reads upstream, it's uh, isolated a little bit more. So the temperature sensor is actually sensing the temperature of the air going in. Now, albeit, that air when it goes through that intake manifold does pick up some of that heat. So this is probably reading a little on the cooler side, meaning that I've got a little bit richer of a mixture, which uh, I haven't uh, actually measured what I'm getting for, uh, for mixture out the exhaust, but uh, a little bit rich is always a little bit better than lean, even if it means sacrificing a little bit of fuel economy. Which isn't necessarily the case, because if your engine's tuned right, getting the right mixture, you get an optimum, optimum uh, fuel there and economy. So, what else did I do? Oh yeah, throttle body. Took the throttle body off, got myself uh, actually a second core, and bored it out. There's lots of, uh, lots of stuff on the internet about how to bore out a throttle body. Basically pull, pull the thing out, pull off all the uh, electronic things, and pull out the butterfly throw it on a drill press and run a drum sander through it to open it up to match match the diameter of the uh, of the uh, the bore where it goes into into the intake manifold 
which is the throttle body spacer in this case, because that's in between the two. So, what else have I got here? I think that's about it for engine. I've got just a regular old MP231 transfer case, good old command track. I think I might have mentioned that earlier. And I got the AX15 transmission underneath there somewhere. Um, yeah, that's about it for engine modifications. I do believe, other than my air setup here, which I'll get into a little bit later. So uh, as you can see, I'm in the middle of changing out my water pump. I need to get a new water pump tomorrow, maybe, and uh, I'll get that in in a day or two. But for the time being, here she sits. That's my engine.